Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. I am so excited and happy to have you here. How are you all doing? Today I'm doing a weekly reading for the week of 5th of March to the 12th of Mar March for all signs. This reading is for all signs. So I will start with the 5th of March and we'll go to the 12th of March. So I will be pulling out a card and a theme for each day to help you navigate through what is coming up this week for you. And this is for all signs, Sun, Moon, Rising. For the week of 5th of March to the 12th of March, what is it that you need to know? What is it that you need to know? What is it that you need to know? Just so you know, I've pre-shuffled these cards and um, before coming on. Oops, there's a whole heap that want to jump on. So we've got Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, is it Friday? Let's see what else wants to come out. Two more cards. So I'm pulling eight cards so that you, because it might already have been Sunday for you, so you can see the full picture and what's coming next week. So two more cards, please. And looks like these two want to jump up. Perfect. So let's see what's the energy. If you're new to my channel, hi. I am super excited to be here and welcome, welcome. So let's see, the energy for Sunday is very much two of one. So on Sunday, you might be feeling this energy of you're looking out, you're looking out into the world and you're thinking to yourself, what, what is out there for me? I really feel I'm getting guided that this could be a lot of people thinking about career work now that we've really started into 2023, you might be reevaluating where you are in life and in your career and whether you are happy, whether it's enough or is there more to this. So if you're looking to start some another creative project, a side hustle, a business, this guidance here, what I'm getting is go ahead, go ahead. The world is your oyster. That is the energy and the guidance I'm feeling from this. So if this is something that has been playing on your mind and it has been playing on your mind for a while, it might be time to really take the next step and take that idea and transform that idea into something. Because ideas are fantastic, but if they continue to remain ideas, there will always be ideas. That's the energy and the vibe I'm getting for this. And then the same thing in terms of love, I'm also feeling this, I just got this other, other uh, message saying that if you really want love, what do you want, what, what are you going to do to get that love in your life? So an example is if you're going to be staying home, binging Netflix, then you're not, not going to be likely meeting anybody at home. So what are you doing to expand your social network? What are you doing to meet new people? That is the energy and vibe for Sunday. Setting the week strong is, oh, now on Monday, we have the justice card. As soon as I picked up this justice card, I, the immediate download that I got with the justice card is that there is a matter that you have been waiting for to come to a conclusion or waiting on an outcome. So what the energy of this card is saying is that the outcome will be favorable. So the outcome that you are hoping for, for whether it is to do with legal matters, whether it is to do with buying a house, I don't know why buying a house came through, but if you're looking to buy a house, this is a great time. Your loan will be approved your, or your application on the property. Um, I'm not sure about where you live, but where I live here in Australia, there can be lots of applications uh, for the same house. So if you are looking to put an offer on, into a, onto a house, this is a great day and a great time luck is on your side the energy is on your side you will get a favorable outcome if that's what you're hoping for so the energy for monday is very much that fair it's about the word that keeps coming up as i see this card is fairness so it's all about just it's about being fair so it will be a favorable and a fair outcome for your highest and best so if you are looking for even a new job or have, have been hoping or have been applying you might get and the good news saying that hey you've got the job so great energy great start to the week i'm really loving this um energy and vibe on tuesday tuesday is uh, the the 7th of march which is when we have the full moon 
So the Tuesday energy is very much of reunion. It's very much of nostalgia. It's very much of um, rekindling, reconnecting, thinking about old memories, or even connecting with friends. Perhaps, um, I said this in the Aries reading. If you're an Aries, I've done a separate reading for you. Go check that out on my channel. Um, this card popped up for a different day. So with this particular card and energy, I'm really feeling like you may, be, you may hear from someone that you haven't heard from from for a little while could be six months nine months 12 months um, a friend that you might have lost touch with or you haven't seen or you might magically bump into them in the city uh, you might have been colleagues um, at some point working together I don't know why I um, I got that specific that's a very very specific example which may not apply to everybody but um, if it is you I'm getting this really I can even visualize it that you know you are going about going to grab lunch and all of a sudden you bump into an old friend and ex-colleague that you used to have really good fond memories and good times with. So um, the energy for Tuesday is wonderful. It is very much about reconnecting. It's very much about reunion. It's about um, even childhood memories. So you might even reconnect with an old childhood friend. So enjoy the vibration and energy of Tuesday. This week is looking very, very good. Oh my goodness. Just when we thought that this could not get any better, we have the Nine of Pentacles. This is the energy of um, this, this card, this image really gives me this vibe and energy of someone who's really enjoying and embracing life. Particularly with the full moon, it might be a good idea to Wednesday on Wednesday just to take stock and just to pause and really, what can you do for yourself that gives you joy? about filling your cup so feeling more taking and making space for self-love and self-care if you see this woman she is luxurious she looks luxurious she looks lush she's surrounded by everything that she needs and yet she is content she's happy and there is all this lushness abundance that surrounds her so this is not about the energy of spending necessarily a lot of money, but it's the energy of what makes you feel abundant, lush, gives you that lux luxurious and lush feeling from the inside, fills your cup. It could be as simple as having a cup of tea by yourself, or it could be as sim simple as um, watching a movie or watching your favorite show and having just that time for yourself without having to worry about anybody else or any to-dos or work or phone calls and just having that time and space to be so very very good week overall i'm loving this energy and actually this is really really good after the full moon as well because we are really the aftermath of the full moon continues so it's a very great it's a great day to really fill your own cup really come back to your center and do something that makes you feel happy that's why we all all work hard don't we oh my goodness and then we have the three of cups so this week to me seems like an overall all encompassing celebration you are celebrating you could even be celebrating the fair outcome or getting that new job or buying a new car or getting your house loan approved or um, the offer on the house that you wanted approved. So you will be celebrating and I feel like this is with family, friends. This is not just you on your own. This is with other people. I really feel that this is about enjoying, enjoying the energy of each other and um, really celebrating and embracing and feeling grateful. I don't know why the word grateful and gratitude came up, but this whole week, I feel like the way the week is going, you really feel how grateful you are to be able to experience so many different opportunities and to be able to have options available. The word options came up as well. So the energy we have for Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, we are here on Thursday, is very much of celebration, celebrating life, celebrating self, celebrating love. You might have um, just met someone and you're telling your friends that, hey, I met this um, great guy at the bar the other day and things are going really well and it looks really promising. So, or your new job offer, as I said, or the new car. So the energy of Thursday is very much of celebration and celebrating with other people. So embrace and enjoy it. And then on Friday, after such an epic high week on Friday, you reassess. But I feel like this is not reassessing. This, the hangman, typically people feel like you're stuck. 
I'm getting the energy from the whole week that you've had and the week that is coming in and um, you will be experiencing this this is very much a energy of um, well what next what next is there for me how can I achieve I've achieved these things and I've and I said this again in the Aries reading if that resonates if um, it's it's on my channel go check it out but with the hangman energy I feel like this is connecting back to the start of the week where you're looking out into the world and you're saying what next and then come friday you are reassessing that you are you're thinking to yourself what more can i do to achieve that what more what other goals have i got because if you look at the energy and energy of the hangman there is this beautiful light that surrounds him so whilst he might might be suspended it's about this fresh new perspective so on friday you might feel you might be talking throughout the week since since you had the three of cups and you had the six of cups as well, there has been a lot of reconnecting, a lot of celebration, a lot of conversations with other people. So you might have really all of a sudden had a fresh perspective on something that you have been thinking for for a while. I really get this. This is for entrepreneurs, for business owners. If you're looking to start a new business or a new venture, this time is amazing. This, this is, these cards are saying that there are ways to do it to get it done it's all very positive it's about having a fresh perspective if you feel like you don't have all the tools well who can help you think about ways that where you can get tools you can get resources you might need a coach or a mentor who has got their own business who can help you or you might be feeling stuck in a particular area or you may feel that you want to get to the next leadership position but how do you do that maybe you need some mentoring that can you know professional mentoring that can help you or um, certain skill sets that will elevate you from your competition so it's about really having that fresh perspective and fresh way of thinking because the opportunities are there it's about whether or not you want the opportunities and how badly do you want these opportunities so that's the energy and vibe at the end of the week on friday the i am i cannot believe the reading that this is turning out to be this is just the most magical week on saturday the ships are coming in if you look at look at this card three of wands amazing so if you have been waiting you have been waiting for something for a while and you haven't seen much movement and you're wondering why why is this taking so long why am i not seeing any progress well the ships are coming in you don't have to wait too long they haven't arrived yet but they're coming you can see them so if you are about to lose hope no don't lose hope if you're thinking that why am i not getting that job i've been sending out so many applications i'm putting out my resume why why am i not getting any jobs at the moment well maybe they were not the right jobs for you maybe the universe was working behind the scenes for the right job for you and there were some other details that needed to be sorted out which is why you haven't been able to get a job because something better is available so um same thing with if you are looking to start a channel hey i just started my channel and you might be wondering oh you know um how do i how what do i do with my channel how do i get um get started um so it's about building those all these bonds if you think about this three of wands card you can see that he's got some bonds behind him so there were some things that he had to build and then he's looking out so it's about building those foundations and sometimes when you're building those foundations you might not see the results immediately and um, when you do when you start to see the early signs you know that it's happening and you're making progress so this card is very much very positive card it's saying that you're making progress and you are nearly there so hang on don't give up and keep going and the wheels have turned what a wonderful and fabulous way to end the week We've got the Wheel of Fortune, so this, I'm feeling prosperity, abundance. I feel like a lot of you have been waiting for the promotion, waiting for that amazing job offer that's just going to sweep you off your feet and take you to that elevated position, leadership role, giving you more responsibility, but also elevate you from a professional perspective. I'm also seeing that if you have been feeling like you're not, where, where is uh, the word lady luck? 
I, I'm almost picturing a ladybird, so or ladybug as it's called in some countries. So if you have been waiting that oh, Lady Luck is not on my side, will I ever find love? Well, the wheels are turning. The wheels are turning. It's all about coming back to the energy of the start of the week, where we have these wands, and it's about the world is your oyster. The world really is truly your oyster. But what are you going to do? Are you going to get off and stop binging on Netflix to go and find your Mr. Right? <laughs> because Mr. Right might not be able to come and find you at home on your couch. So the the wheel, the, this comes, when I see the Wheel of Fortune card, I want to say that we can get guidance from tarot, but ultimately it's up to us. Only we can take the action. We can get inspiration. We can get guidance. We can get nudges from God, source, universe, whatever resonates with you. Ultimately, it's up to you to take the action because we can take the guidance. What are you doing with the guidance? And here it's saying the wheels are turning. The wheels are turning. So stop waiting. It's time to take action. It's time to move forward because it's all systems go. What a fantastic all signs reading for this week. I am absolutely blown away. I just want to pull a... Um, the sun is just coming in, which is good because then you can see the cards even more clearly. Um, I just want to pull some guidance on what what is the overall theme. I'm just pulling an oracle card to get you some guidance on what's the overall theme for this week for you. What is something that you really need to think about? And this is just so fabulous that we've got the divine life purpose card that has popped up i will just read what it says trust the signs and your inner guidance which are leading you to fulfillment again as i said and this is why i love tarot and this is why i love this so much as i said at the start with the card with the two of wands card if you are thinking of you know really have starting a side hustle starting a youtube channel like i have and you have been debating and wanting and desiring and not sure, well, the, the, the divine guidance is yes, go do it. Go do it. Start it. The world is your oyster. You will get success. The wheels are turning. But you have to start. It all comes down to you have to start. You have to make the first move before you can get success. So this is amazing. What an epic week. I wish you all a fantastic week. Please, if you've enjoyed this, like and subscribe and hit that notification button so the next time I've put something on, you will be notified. And I look forward to seeing you on the next one. Thank you.